This is Miami All Access. I mean, I think she needs to continue to be aggressive. I think the last couple games she was uh, very aggressive um, and uh, looking to uh, attack the defense. And I think she needs to continue to do that. And that she can't, that can't go away. I really feel like um, even before this week, even I think the last two weeks, I think her mentality has been really good uh, that way. We'd like to see her hit it. You know, she needs to put a few more of those shots down uh, that she's getting. But boy, she's getting some really good looks, and, and I'm expecting her to do that. All right, Miami is home against Eastern Michigan this Tuesday before making that long trip to Buffalo on Saturday. Second time around against the Eagles, what can we expect from them, and what needs to happen for us to get a better result this time? Well, certainly we need to handle their press uh, well. They run a 2-2-1 into a 2-3. They've started doing some other things, but that's their, that's their bread and butter, and they do a great job at it. Um, we got to handle that pressure better. We had 23 turnovers in the first game, and uh, several of those led to points. And so, you know, we, we have to handle the ball better. We have to take care of it and uh, be able to get shots on the other end. That'll make a huge uh, difference in the results. And then. Once we do get it in half court, it's being able to move the ball and uh, look for the seams in the zone uh, to be able to get good shots. And at the conclusion of the Eastern Michigan game, the team and the coaching staff are holding a free 45-minute skills clinic. Who is invited and what can they expect at this event? Well, I, I would ask uh, it's elementary uh, students, elementary and middle school students, um, and you can certainly go on the web. I think we have it on the website uh, so you can get more details there. Um, our players will be involved. They'll be around. We'd love to have as many as we can. I think we'll spend about 45 minutes uh, just uh, you know answering questions but also working on some skills and doing some things like that and just want it to be be fun for uh, uh, those um, students that can that can come. Yep, there is a uh, there is more information on muredhawks.com, including a flyer. With that flyer, you can get a free uh, three dollar discounted admission to, to Tuesday's game. So as it gets getting late in the season, all teams are of course tired, and they have their various bumps and bruises. What is the key towards grinding out these last few games and getting some success in them? Well, I mean, certainly it's a long season. I, I think the first thing is you can't think about being tired. <laughs> I, think, I think you are what you think you are. And uh, if you think you're tired, then you're tired. Um, I, I think that that's mental toughness that comes with uh, that comes with experience, and it comes with uh, mental toughness to uh, to be able to understand that everybody's in the same boat. And uh, are you going to be the one that rises to the top and and is tougher in any given situation? Uh, we're all. Uh, uh, playing the same game, we all have the same amount of games, regular season games, we all have that going into the tournament, all of that stuff. And so it really comes down to the team that's going to be mentally tough. And so uh, we're not talking about how, you know, if we're tired or what we're doing. This is, this is, is uh, uh, our passion, this is our love, and this is what we, we, you know, we feel like we're called to do. And so, you know, you, you don't think about it. You, you keep, uh, keep your focus and, um, and you keep working. Um, I know we're jumping back to the middle of last week, Coach, but uh, how did you know how to help out the team's morale? I mean, you guys got the Kent, mm -hmm. Kent State victory. I mean, mm -hmm. is there a change in the locker room since the victory? I mean, mm -hmm. a little higher up. You know what I think? I think what happens is, and this is the thing that um, that I did see was it was some external motivation for them. You know, and and as a coach, you don't want them to necessarily rely on external motivation. You want to take, uh, you know. Uh, you want to love the process. You want to love to work. You want to take joy in the work that it takes, um, and that the the wins are just a result of that work. Um, because either side, once once you get to the point where you're winning, those people are still working. Or they're not winning very much then. So you, you're going to have to you, you know get that work done. And but I did see a little. There's a little bounce in their step, of course. Again, because the external motive, external reward was there for their hard work, and I thought they played well and they finished well. And so that was exciting for them, and you know, just so happened that we hit OU on uh, on a Saturday, and it was a very emotional day, um, very a successful day, I think, for Think Pink. Uh, we had a really good crowd; everything was good. We just didn't get some shots to go down for us in, in that particular game, and and we allowed that to kind of you know get our heads down and so forth. But um, it's unfortunate that it was that particular game. Um, we want to bounce back from that one against Eastern Michigan, and so we're we're excited about uh, tomorrow night, and and uh, we'll be ready to go.